Welcome to Bears Next Out. Today is Monday, May the 20th, and this is a quick hit on the indexes. Starting off with the Dow. So, we were down um, oh, 19 points. No biggie, but we did make a new high today, and we did not get a down tick. We do have some excessive separation and some wobble, which is uh, problematic, but uh, not the end of the world yet. Just waiting for that downtick. Uh, beyond that, you could look at this and say, oh, this is somewhere between a spinning top and an inverse hammer. Kind of messy. Maybe it's a semi-minor decent reversal candle, but I wouldn't put too much stock in it um, at this time. We have a decent blip in the heat map, but it isn't total. It doesn't uh, reach across all three heat maps. And we have the 14-day RSI moving average continuing to climb high, but it's getting, it should be at its uh, top area very soon. So, long in the tooth? Yes. Is the door minorly open to the bears? Yes. Uh, can they be trusted at this time? No. Uh, because everything is holding high. You get a, uh, a strong day tomorrow, and it continues to look very bullish. So, anyway, that's what I see. It's just continuing on its little rampage that uh, sucks in shorts and then clobbers them. So, uh, should it be trusted? I don't think so. Now, 60 minute time frame. You can see that we were headed down today after making a uh, the new high. Uh, but, actually I should get rid of this. Uh, we have the uh, stochastics on the way down, the 14 day RSI moving average on the way down, the CCI down, MACD down, MACD histogram down. Looks pretty darn good in the 60 minute time frame, except that we've already expended a lot of energy in the stochastics. So, uh, not too much farther, and they should turn around and go back high. You can see that on the moves down, the uh, price has only decreased minorly. Whereas on the ups, it has been excessive. So this running out of space and getting ready to move up probably in the next day or two um, is very pro problematic for the bears until sentiment really changes. So another reason why, even though we have a pretty decent setup here, uh, in the short term, there is a problem here for the bears. So another reason why not to trust them. But I suppose we could always be surprised. Going on to the SPX, it is more of the same, although this is definitely an inverse hammer, unlike the Dow. So this is a possible reversal candle. We have no downtick, and we made a new high. So, hmm, a little bit more difficult, but still, 14 day RSI moving average, still some room to move to the upside, although it is higher than, than the Dow. Um, there should be should be uh, some uh, decent development for the bears here before too long, but does that mean tomorrow? No. Going on to the VIX. And the VIX attempted to uh, <laughs> attempted to pop back up today. It was swatted down immediately. Essentially the entire day. It didn't finish at the lows, but uh, still not a very good day for the VIX. Um, other than that, what do we have? Well, we can see that the secondary reset is still underway, which is kind of surprising since it looked like it was uh, already failing. But uh, no, it has decided to continue on its merry way trying to make a difference. But uh, I do think the damage is done. And we have that, uh, that new low from Friday that needs to be retested. So just a matter of time, I think. Um, Going on to IWM, small caps. And look, this is uh, this is stronger than the Dow, stronger than SPX, a higher close than on Friday, obviously a new high, uh, pretty darn uniform, a little bit of excessive separation in the short-term moving averages, but all in all, not bad. Um, still room to move. And everything either holding high or pointing high, so... This isn't bad. This isn't bad. 
I'm going on to the SPY4R volume information to finish off the evening and of course new recent high and what was today with its down move it was a minor downtick in the unbalanced volume everything else still green five greens everything still pointing up with the exception of the unbalanced volume so is there a major problem here for the bulls yet no there's not um, it is still their game to throw away and we don't have any danger signs yet in the volume and that's it as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you